Hey guys, it's Crazy Coupons. Welcome back to my channel and happy Friday, everybody. You guys know what that means. We've got some five off $25 scenarios to go over for this Saturday, May the 14th at Dollar General. And in this video, I have a total of five awesome scenarios to share with y'all. So before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because it's a free way that you can help your girl out. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, deals you want to share, or if you just want to say hello, y'all know I love hearing from you, so please leave me a comment down below before you go. And also, please take a second to share this video with somebody that you know so that they can get in on these deals as well. All right, guys, let's jump right in. All right, so if you're one of the lucky couponers to receive a five off $25 digital coupon for this Saturday, here's how I go about checking out whenever I have a digital five off 25. So first you wanna verify that your subtotal is over $25. Keep in mind that is before taxes. Then you wanna type in your phone number for all of the digital coupons to apply. And I always hand over my paper coupons last. Keep in mind, if your subtotal after coupons isn't what you expect it to be, you can always void the transaction and try again because your digital coupons will go directly back onto your account and any paper coupons that you may have handed over will also still work because the transaction was never completed. Now, if you plan on using a paper or AKA receipt five off $25 coupon this Saturday, here's how I go about checking out whenever I use one of those. So I will hand over the paper five off $25 coupon first, then it really doesn't matter from there. You can hand over your paper coupons or you can type in your phone number for your digital coupons to apply. Um, it really doesn't make a difference right there. You can do it whichever order you would like. Then again, keep in mind, if your subtotal isn't what you expect it to be after your coupons have been applied, always void the transaction. Your digital coupons will go directly back onto your account and then all of those paper coupons will still work because the transaction was never completed. Now, I know that several of you all received a five off 20 DG store coupon to use this Saturday at Dollar General. So if you have a five off 20, you can do all of these deals as they are without changing anything. All of the deals in this video, you are good to go. Your subtotal will be the same. Your subtotal after coupons will be the same. Your final price will be the same. But if you want to, you can subtract an item or two to get your subtotal before coupons um, to around $20, $20 or more. So again, the main thing to remember is to make sure that your subtotal is $20 or more before coupons are subtracted, any coupons at all, okay? Now, if you need help, leave me a comment down below or you can also send an email to crazycoupons1 at gmail.com and I will be happy to help you figure out what you need to do for this Saturday. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into these five off $25 scenarios. So for this first one, you want to pick up one of the Maybelline eyeliners priced at $3.75, one of the CoverGirl eyeliner two counts at $4.50, one of the Wet Wipes 20 count at $1.35, one Scott Bath Tissue six count at $3, one of the Playtex Sport tampons at $3.95, one of the Poise 26 count liners at $3.25, two of the Suave two count bar soaps at $2. They are $1 each. One of the Suave 1.4 ounce deodorants at 125, one of the Right Guard deodorants at 235, and three of the American Greeting Cards at $1.50. Those are 50 cents each. Your subtotal after coupons will be $25.65. And here are your coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. And here's your list of coupons. So you're going to need a 5 off 25 digital or paper coupon, or you could also use that 5 off 20 DG store coupon. The 2 off 1 Maybelline DG store coupon, the 2 off 1 Maybelline, the 3 off 1 CoverGirl, the 50 cent off 1 Wet Wipes, the 1 off 1 Scott, the 2 off 1 Playtex, the 2 off 1 Poise, the 50 cents off when you spend $2 on Suave Bar Soap, the 50 cent off 1 Suave Deodorant, the 1 off 1 Right Guard, and the 1 off 3 American Greeting Cards. Your subtotal after coupons will be $6 dollars and 65 cents for 13 items making each one just 51 cents each all right next up we have kind of a household deal here so for this one you want to pick up one of the arm and hammer laundry packs at three dollars and 75 cents one of the snuggle fabric softener products at four dollars and 50 cents one of the suavitel 36 count sheets at a dollar 90 cents one of the clorox three count dishwasher tablets for one dollar found in the dollar aisle one of the Charmin essentials 12 count bath tissue at 4.95 one of the lysol toilet bowl cleaners at two dollars one of the wet wipes 20 count at a dollar 35 one of the maybelline eyeliners at 375 and two of the Crest or Oral-B products for $2. Those are $1 each. Your subtotal will be $25.20. 
And here are the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. And here's your list of coupons. Again, you can use the 5 off $25 digital or paper coupon, or you can use a 5 off 20 DG store coupon. Then you're going to need the 150 off one Arm and Hammer, the one off one Snuggle, the 50 cent off one Suavitel, the 50 cent off one Clorox, the one off one Charmin, the 50 cent off one Lysol, the 50 cent off one Wet Wipes, the two off one Maybelline DG store coupon, the two off one Maybelline, and the three off two Crest and Oral B. Your subtotal after coupons will be $7.95 for all 10 items items making each one just 79 cents each. But this still gets even better because right now on Ibotta, we have a $1 rebate back on the Snuggle Scent Boosters. So if you want to pick up the Snuggle Scent Boosters in your scenario, you're going to submit your receipt to Ibotta and get $1 back. But the deal gets even better because right now on Fetch Rewards, we have a thousand point bonus for the Lysol bathroom cleaners or the multi-purpose sprays. So you can pick up either one. I think the sprays are a little bit more. I think they're $2.15. Just make sure that y'all are scanning to price check if you would rather pick up the multi-purpose cleaners. But submit your receipt to Fetch Rewards, get back $1, and that is going to make your final prize $5.95 for all 10 items, making each one just $0.59 cents each. So how awesome is that? Now, if you want to pick up the Liquid Snuggle Fabric Softener or the Snuggle Fabric Softener Sheets, we have a $0.75 cent rebate back on Ibotta for either one of those. So you're going to submit your receipt to Ibotta and get back $0.75. Cents. That's going to make your final price $6.20 for all 10 items, making each one just $0.62 cents each. All right, guys, next up, we're going to be stacking the 5 off $25 coupon with the PNG spin promotion that we have going on right now at Dollar General. So basically, you have to spend $15 out of pocket and you're going to get a $5 coupon on the bottom of your receipt. And this Saturday is the last day that y'all can get in on these deals. Now, those $5 coupons, they don't expire until May the 21st, and those are going to come in handy. So I would recommend that y'all try to do one of these spin deals, at least one, because we do have a lot of really good coupons coupons to match up with it right now. All right, guys, so this first scenario is going to be a gain scenario, and this is going to be a triple dip deal, which means we are going to be combining the 5 off 30 gain coupon, the 5 off 25, or if you have a 5 off 20, that would work as well with the PNG spend promotion. Now, one quick note on this, I didn't make a slide to remind you all, um, but I would do this deal with all digital coupons. I'm not sure how it's going to work if you try to use a paper 5 off $25 coupon with this. I may go in Saturday morning and try to make this deal work with a paper 5 off 25 and I'll let you guys know if that works out or not. Um, but we'll just see what happens because my store was already pretty low on gain products. Uh, so I can't promise you all that I'll be able to do that. If anybody's tried that in the past, please let us know down in the comment section how it went. But I would recommend that you guys use all digital coupons for this deal. If you have a 5 off 25 or a 5 off 20, or if you have a 5 off 35, you could even throw in a couple extra products uh, from the dollar aisle or a, an extra pack of gain flings or something and make it work work with a 5 off 35. Now, a couple of other reminders to scan, scan, scan. This is important for all of our scenarios for this Saturday because, as you all know, prices are changing daily. So you guys have to scan to price check. You also want to scan to make sure that your coupons are attaching. And it's especially important when you guys do gain scenarios because you want to make sure that the gain DG store coupon, which right now is that 5 off 30 gain, you want to make sure that that coupon shows up underneath each gain product or gain scented product such as the Febreze air fresheners because the gain DG store coupons do not always work with all gain products or all gain scented products. So it is so, so very important that you guys scan, scan, scan. All right, so for this scenario, you want to pick up one of the Gain 51 Count Flings at $15.95. Two of the Mr. Clean Multipurpose Cleaners at $6. Those are $3 each. Two of the Gain Scented Febreze Air Fresheners at $6. Those are $3 each. Two of the Gain Dish Soaps at $4.30. Those are $2.15 each. And one of the Gain Laundry Products for $1 from the Dollar Owl. You could also pick up the Dish Soap. Those are also $1 in the Dollar Owl. Your subtotal will be $32.35. So again, really quick note right here, if you guys wanted to throw in three more products from the dollar aisle, uh, that would make your subtotal over that $35 mark, and that would make this scenario work for you if you have a 5 off 30 DG store coupon for this Saturday at DG. 
And here are the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. And here's your list of coupons. So, of course, you're going to need that 5 off 30 gain DG Store digital coupon, your 5 off 25 DG Store digital, or your 5 off 20. Or if you decide to add a couple of products, you can use the 5 off 35. Okay. The 3 off 1 gain flings, the 1 off 2 Mr. Clean products, the 3 off 2 Febreze air fresheners, the 1 off 2 gain dish soap. And your subtotal after coupons will be $15.25 for all eight items. Keep in mind, you have to spend at least $15 out of pocket to receive that $5 coupon on the bottom of your receipt. So again, you're going to get back your $5 coupon. That's going to make your final price $10.25 for all eight items, making each one just $1.28 each. All right, so for this next scenario, you want to pick up one of the Charmin Essentials 12 count bath tissue at $4.95, one of the Bounty Essentials 6 count paper towels at $4.95, one of the Downy fabric products at $4.50, one of the Gain laundry products at $4.50, two of the Febreze air fresheners at $6, those are $3 each, two of the Gain dish soaps at $4.30, those are $2.15 each, one of the Dawn or Gain laundry products for $1 from the dollar aisle, and two of the Creston Oral B products for $2, those are $1 dollar each. That's going to bring your subtotal to $32.20. And here are the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. And here's your list of coupons. So, of course, you're going to need your 5 off 25 digital or paper coupon. You could also use a 5 off 20 digital or you could add a couple of products and use a 5 off 35 digital. Your one off one Charmin, your one off one Bounty, your one off one Downy, your one off one Gain, your three off two Febreze, your one off two Gain dish soap, and the three off two Creston Oral-B products. So your subtotal after coupons will be $16.20 for 11 items, but you're going to get back that $5 coupon. So that's going to make your final price $11.20 for 11 items, making each one just $1.01 each. And I think this is a great scenario considering we are getting a lot of household products that we can use every single day. We're getting paper products, laundry products, even dish soap. So we've got everything covered. So this is definitely a scenario that I'm going to be trying to do this Saturday at DG. All right, next up, we have a little mix and match household and personal care deal. So for this one, you want to pick up two of the Head & Shoulders Shampoo Eucalyptus Scent at $8.50. Those are $4.25 each. One of the Always Discreet Liners at $5.80. One of the Oral-B Floss. You can pick from the Floss or the Floss Picks at $3. Two of the Febreze Air Fresheners at $6. Those are $3 each. Three of the Puffs Tissues at $5.10. One of the Charmin or Bounty Essentials for $4.95. And two of the Crest oral be products at two dollars those are one dollar each your subtotal is going to be thirty five dollars and thirty five cents and here are the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. Now, I did forget to put the 50 cent off one oral B floss picture on this slide, but it is included in the list. And here's your list of coupons. So for this scenario, you can use a 5 off 25 digital or paper coupon. You could also use a 5 off 35 digital or you could use a 5 off 20 digital. So then you're going to need the 3 off 2 head and shoulders, the 2 off 1 always discreet, the 50 cent off 1 oral B floss, the 3 off 2 Febreze air fresheners, the 1 off 3 puffs tissue, the 1 off 1 Charmin or Bounty, whichever one you choose to pick up, and the 3 off 2 Creston oral B. And your subtotal after coupons will be $16.85 for 12 items, but you're going to get back that $5 coupon, and that's going to make your final price $11.35 for all 12 items, making each one just $0.98 cents each. Now, if you guys can find some more of those Crest and Oral-B products for $1 each and take advantage of the overage that we have going on right now, y'all can definitely do that with these spin deals. Just make sure that your subtotal is $15 or more after all of your coupons have been applied. Now, I told you all in the last video that I found some more of those toothbrushes. They were in the wrong section in the toothbrush section. I think they were under the $7 toothbrushes, so make sure that y'all are looking through those toothbrushes really, really good. All right, guys, now just in case y'all missed it, I did upload several videos this week that you might be interested in going and checking out if you haven't already. So if you haven't heard, we have a 3 off 15 DG store coupon floating around out there. I made a video on Monday, I do believe, with the 3 off 15 DG store coupon link. Plus, I walk you all through step by step how to add that to your accounts. So go and check that one out if you haven't already, because we're going to have some more 3 off 15 deals for next week.
Then right after that one, I uploaded a video going over some daily deals that y'all can do any day of the week with that 3 off 15 DG store coupon. You all can still do a lot of those deals up until Saturday. I know that some of those coupons do expire. So if you want to do some daily deals with that 3 off 15 DG store coupon, go and check out that video. Now, I also went out to Dollar General myself this week and I stacked the PNG deal with the 3 off 15 DG store coupon and the 5 off 30 gain DG store coupon. So if you want to see how I did that, go and check out this video right here. It is full of PNG daily deals that you guys can do again up until Saturday. So if you missed any of those videos and you want to go and check them out, I'm going to leave them all linked in the pinned comment down below. All right, guys, so that is it for me for now, but make sure that y'all stay tuned because I'm going to be posting my Walgreens haul in the community tab. I was going to make a video on it, but I ran into some issues with register rewards not printing and Walgreens cash not applying. So I didn't want to make a video showing y'all deals that didn't work out for me, right? So I will post that in the community tab. You may have to call customer service afterwards to get your cash back, but that will be over there if y'all are interested in it. Plus, I did take a trip to Family Dollar yesterday. So we are going to have some 5 off $25 scenarios for Family Dollar. So how exciting is that? So if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so and make sure that you turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on any awesome deals. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how y'all are doing today and please share the video. All right, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on the next one.